Hi, this is Ben Shaw for Focus Camera, and today we are going to talk a little bit about bouncing light. So the term bouncing light is in regard to using another light source to effectively bring light where it isn't. When you bounce light, you do so to create more of an even illumination. Flashes tend to have a hard edge to them and you often get a, a, a great big shadow. So a couple of different ways of bouncing light would be to use a reflector, which uh, generally has two sides, one being a white side, usually matte, and it just softly bounces light up. The other way would be to use a reflector that either has a gold or a, or a silver filler, and those tend to bounce the light in a much harder dynamic. Um, Obviously we use mirrors, whiteboards, reflector boards of all kinds of things. Uh, <coughs> there are some devices which attach to the camera and in this case they allow you to bounce the light from the camera's flash up towards the ceiling which then drops it down in a more uniform approach. So again, we're just trying to avoid the hard lines of on-camera flash. So we generally use flash in interior environments, depending on what you're using it for, weddings, conferences, children's graduations, etc., etc. Um, flash tends to, in addition to a big shadow, it also creates red eye. So by bouncing the light away from the, the, the general direction of the camera flash, and again incorporating a more uniform lighting, we're going to avoid the red eye and we are going to avoid the, uh, the definitive shadowing. So if you're just starting out taking photographs and uh, are finding that your use of on-camera flash is harsh or perhaps illuminates one part of the frame but not the other, i.e. the background, maybe the flash is directed from the camera to illuminate what's in front of it. But as you increase your ability, you might want to add something. So there's a product that Focus Camera sell called the Light Scoop, and this will effectively do what I've been speaking of. It will attach to your DSLR, and it will illuminate the room in a way that broadens the scope of the light, and you're not just going to have the forward subject illuminated. And in addition, if you're making those steps up through your photographic career, um, of course there are even bigger light bouncers and so on and so forth. But the, the light scoop is ideal for somebody who works alone or as I mentioned, a graduation, or even a party in a small room. So in conclusion, this product, the light scoop, is definitely for the hobbyist and as I mentioned, the person working solo. Uh, you attach it to your DSLR and it will broaden your lighting. It's not going to be as in your face and you're not going to end up with the red eye or the flash uh, shadows that I already mentioned. A small little detail, this particular product, the light scoop at Focus, is uh, compatible with almost all cameras, sadly not the Sony range. So if you shoot on a Sony, we have to find something else for you. This is Ben Shaw for Focus Camera, see you online.